Yo yo, it's Yerk, and today I'm going to show you how you can make any of the mythic boss vaults in Fortnite Creative. As of the most recent update, Fortnite added in all the different key cards to Fortnite Creative, so I thought now would be a good time to revisit my most popular video, how to make the agency vault in creative and show you guys how to make them using the new key cards. This method is really channel efficient using only two channels per vault. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to add as many of the vaults as you want into your map. And as you can see on screen now, these vaults work literally just like the ones from Battle Royale. You can't get into them unless you beat the boss and pick up the key card and take the key card to the corresponding boss vault. Now let's hop right into this tutorial. So for this tutorial, let's say we're going to build the whole vault from scratch. So first we want to open up our inventory and we're going to search for the indestructible gallery. Open this gallery up and we're looking for this indestructible wall and this indestructible floor piece. Now we're going to build a two by one room using these indestructible pieces and we're just going to leave the front side open. Next up, we're going to search for the yacht prop gallery and this is where we're going to get our vault doors. We want both the open and closed vault doors. So go ahead and grab those and place down the open piece to finish off our vault. Then what we're going to do is pull out the closed vault piece and we want to line it up just right so that the closed piece lines up with the hole from the open vault piece. Next we're going to go to the devices tab and we're going to grab out an explosive barrel and a barrier. Place down the explosive barrel and open up the settings. We want to set the health to indestructible, then we're going to set the blast radius to 0.25. We don't want it to hurt the player so turn the player damage to zero but we do want it to break the vault. So we're gonna set the structure damage to 5,000. Then we're going to set the damage indestructible building setting to yes, and we're gonna turn knockback off. Then we need to turn off all of the audio and visual effects. And we also wanna turn range visualization to explosion radius. Then we're gonna make it invisible during game. And lastly, we are going to set it to explode when receiving from channel one and click okay. Now you can see when you walk up to the barrel that it shows up with this orange glowing barrier thing. And what that's going to do is tell you everything that it's going to blow up. We wanna place it in a spot that the orange radius is only touching the closed vault piece. So find a good spot and line it up and make sure it's not going to hit the open vault door. Okay, now it's time to place down the barrier. Place it down so that the barrier is just barely sticking out past the front of the vault and then open up the settings. We're going to set this to invisible and we wanna set it to disable when receiving from channel one. Now for the card reader, we wanna grab the little computer prop piece from the shark prop gallery and we're just going to place this down somewhere near your vault and then we wanna grab out a conditional button. Place down the conditional button just so it lines up with the computer prop just like this and then we're gonna open up the settings. All we're gonna do is set when activated, transmit on channel one and click okay. Then we're just going to grab whatever key card that we want this vault to be and we're just going to drop it in. Now the vault works and all we need to do is set up our boss and set up our key card. So grab out a sentry device and place it down somewhere that you want your boss to be and then open up the settings and give it whatever gun and whatever other settings that you want. Then go all the way down to the bottom and set when eliminated, transmit on, channel two and click okay. Now for the last step, we're going to place down an item spawner. Then we're just going to grab whatever key card that we want this vault to be and we're just going to drop it in and open up the settings. We're gonna set spawn time from game start to never and then we're gonna set spawn item when receiving from channel two and click okay. Now, if we start the game, you can see that we can't get into the vault. We can't pickaxe our way in from any direction. And the only way to get in is to kill the boss. So let's go and do that. And then we're just going to pick up the key card. And now that we have that, we're going to head over to the card reader machine. As soon as we give it our card, you can see that the vault opens right up. And since Epic added so many key cards, you guys can make all of the vaults. And that is the new updated way to make vaults in Fortnite Creative. And if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, drop a like, hit subscribe, do whatever you want to do and all that good stuff. And if this video helped you out, consider using code YERKYT in the item shop. It really helps me out a lot. Be sure to check out one of my other videos that is on screen now. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, stay up.